dostanec mi jiný. Fuck. Oh, well, I'm not gonna play that song because I hate it, so whatever. Alright. I could have swore I recorded this, but I guess I didn't. So I'm recording this video like a week later. Alright. So, in chapter 36 of Just the Boy, we found out that Tyler and Justin snuck out of campus, which I don't know if that's out of school campus and college. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that or not. Um, so they went up to some abandoned house and watched the sunset, they kissed, blah, 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 blah. And now they're on the plane what? ride to Paris. Chapter 36. Before I knew, my eyes grew heavy and things began to go to grow dark. After what felt like an hour, but only seemed to be five, five minutes, I felt my head take a shift to the other side by a slight force. The warm hand lifted my head, and I peeked with one eye to see what was going on. Caleb looked, Caleb looked out the window, and as he oh lent me his shoulder. <sighs> Chapter... Stop controlling your servers, kid. Special point of view. I didn't watch him, but let him sleep without a worry on my shoulder. I sigh as I glare out the window and watch the clouds pass by. As time went by, the silence filled the air. I pulled on my iPhone to listen to music. Soon my eyes closed. I slept until a loud intercom came overhead and announced we will be arriving in Paris in ten minutes. A slightly large weight lifted off my shoulders, and Tyler, and Tyler stretched as he yawned next to me. Everyone else's eyes slowly opened, and they all yawned, making me yawn. The plane began Who to slow down. No one calls then, when the that. plane, when the plane's small wheels touched the ground, Tyler, Tyler slightly jerked forward. Out of reaction, my arm extended out in front of him, making making sure he didn't hit the seat in front of us. No! No! Ugh. Shut up, Carson! Why don't you shut up? Thanks, he smiled at me, his heart slightly aching, knowing that the smile does not be belong to me alone. No problem. No problem. I slightly laughed and the, the plane came to a stop, and then we all got up and grabbed our bags. We got off the plane and stretched before calling the taxi to our hotel. Since we had so many people, we had to take two different taxis. I ended up in the same taxi with with the two lovebirds, Tyler and Justin. It's Caleb talking we're talking about here. After we arrived to the hotel, oh, we shared rooms two two to three. Instead of uh, complicating things, we we stuck with the argument of who came to the hotel within within the taxi. Once again, I'm with Tyler and Justin. Yeah. All that will endure this trip will only make me stronger. <laughs> you two can share the beds. I'll take the couch. I smile at them. They nod and place their stuff on different beds. Hmm, that's not going to stay like that for much longer. An hour passed, giving, giving up time to settle in. A chirp voice came from outside the door. I walked over and opened it. Dylan smiled at me before barging in. Kevin followed him. Let's go sightseeing, he smiled, but we all agreed and grabbed our things. The whole time we walked around, I trailed behind both I trailed behind both couples. I realized more that I sit in the back and watch everyone more than I saw how un unfiltering everyone is with each other. I saw so many opportunities for me to jump in and break up the current couples. Kevin and Dylan held their hands, but Dylan talked to Justin no, more. No, so I was watching that. And he needed Justin and Tyler didn't even hold hands. Like, Watching Tyler's hands move back and forth made me want to reach out and grab it, but I held myself back. As we arrived at the place to sit, we rest our feet. I called Justin over. Hey! He walked over to me. I addressed him and followed him, and we walked slightly farther away from the group. Justin. I paused, looking at him and leaning up against the brick wall and crossed my arms. I know you and Tyler are dating, Dude, and you know I like him. I paused again and checked his reaction. He just stared at me with a slightly blank face, and his and hand turned into a fist fight. Personally, I don't think you two should be together. His fist grew tighter, tight enough to see the veins pop out. What's your point? He growled at me. 
Is he jealous? Does he see me as a threat? If so, that's a good sign. Let's make a deal. I won't go after Tyler, but if you're gonna ignore him for a second, I'll snatch him up from under your nose, I snickered. When people are ignored, they go to the other for the attention they need. I'll be waiting for him, I smirked with a shy glimpse across his face. But if I approve but if I approve of you after two days, I'll I think you'll be able to give him more Am I wrong? more love than I can. Then I'll give him up. Jeez. He really thinks that's gonna work? Huh. What do you guys think? Do you think Caleb do you think Caleb is actually gonna take Tyler? Do you think Justin is not gonna ignore Tyler anymore? Who do you think is who do you think Tyler is gonna end up with? We don't have that many more chapters. Let's see, we have one, two, three. We have three chapters. Actually, four if there's a final. But we have three chapters left of this story. And then, do you guys think Tyler's going to stay with Justin? Do you think Justin's going to ignore Tyler? Do you think Caleb is going to snatch Tyler? Do you think this deal is real? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully, I actually don't know because I think Caleb and Tyler are... Caleb and Justin are both perfect for each other. Just, I think Caleb has a pretty good idea of what he's going to be doing. So, that's all for you have, I have for you guys today. Come back tomorrow for Purple, and we will be doing Chapter 38, and we will do one of my favorite songs by Alaska Thunderfuck. It's called oh. Your Makeup is Terrible. What about Peanut Butter? Peanut Butter, Peanut Butter, Peanut Butter. That's Oh. And until next time, game is okay, just ask the GSA, huh? Sure.